Well, Dolly, hello. It's such an honor to talk to you. My name is Sarah Jennings with WTVC TV in Chattanooga, fellow East Tennessean UTK grad. And like so many people, you have inspired so many of us. Have to admit, I'm a little nervous talking to you today. From your music, your movies to Dollywood, Imagination Library, all of it. And now you have your new book that's coming out, reveals how you achieve so much success. Tell us about that, Dolly. Well, I will. Just talking about you being nervous, you probably felt like I did when I was asked to do the commencement speech at. Uh, at UT about three years ago because I'm used to singing and writing songs and getting out on stage and performing, telling jokes and entertaining people. But then when they asked me to write the commencement speech, I thought, well, what am I going to say? Because I didn't feel like I was smart enough to do that, you know, in a highly educated place like a college because I never went to college. So anyway, I did make the speech and it did go over very well. And so I got encouraged to expand on it because I'd taught uh, had talked about in that speech about the dream more, learn more, care more, and be more, which are the steps or the principles or the kind of the rules we go by with our imagination library, uh, so where we give books to children from the time they're born once a month till they start school. So anyway, I was a bit nervous to make the speech and I was a little bit nervous to write the book because I'd rather uh, sing, as I mentioned, than to write books and make speeches, but we felt this would be a good thing. I have some insight into how I've run my life and how I conduct my business. And if there's a few nuggets, great, and all the money from the book goes to the imagination library so we can and give more kids more books. A big thank you to my family, which takes part in the Imagination Library and so many people across the Tennessee Valley area, across the country, and um, it's just a success. And thinking about this new book, Dolly, who do you imagine will gain the most from your new book, Dream More? Well, that's really hard to say. I think it'll be a fun book. I kind of always say it's just a little book with a big attitude and a good attitude, uh, more than than a big attitude. Actually, it's got some nuggets, I think, for it would still be good for young people that are in, in college or just going out on their own, going from high, high school into college or leaving college and going on out into the big world. Just to, people, just to show you how someone, uh, especially a local girl in this case, has really come from high humble beginnings and, and made it to what they call the top of the world. You know, it's a big dream to have when you're young, but it is possible. And with hard work and living in a great place like America, we can see our dreams come true if, if we're willing to really sacrifice and work hard for them. So I think there's something in it for all age groups. I think older people will enjoy just kind of reading about some of the things I talk about in my childhood. And the others, I think, might pick up a few nuggets that might help them along the way. So Dolly, have you accomplished all your dreams? No, I'll never accomplish all my dreams because I wake up with new dreams every day. But I, uh, I kind of have to, you have to be smart about your dreaming. You have to know which dreams you really believe that's worth you giving up so much other stuff for. But you really have to work a dream. You can't just dream it and expect it to happen. It does not work that way. You've got to put some muscle behind it. You've got to put some thought behind it. You've got to be willing to sacrifice to see that dream come true. And it's easy easier said than done, of course, and it always sounds easy coming from somebody that's already made it, but don't think I didn't earn it, and don't think I didn't pay my dues, so you got to know that starting out. If you're going to dream, you're going to pay, and you're going to have to sacrifice quite a few things for it, but it can be done. Dolly, the Hollywood the holidays rather are coming up, and we're wondering what your plans are if you've ever spent the holidays in the Chattanooga area. <laughs> No, but I will tell you, my husband and I came through Chattanooga a few weeks ago. Uh, we wanted to see the leaves. We always do that. We were going up home. So sometimes we go through Chattanooga going up to Knoxville. Sometimes we come back from Knoxville, go through Chattanooga. So we thought, well, we're just going to do it uh, this time. So we went up that way and came back that way. And we got married over in Ringgold, Georgia, which is just right across the road from you. And my husband lived for a short time when he was a little boy over on Missionary Ridge there, right in, outside of Georgia, I guess that is. So anyway, we're very fond of Chattanooga and that whole area. And we go there almost every year for our anniversary. So we won't be spending the holidays there. I'll be spending it with my husband, though, and with my family. And I hope all of you have a great holiday season, too. Thank you so much, Dolly. And 
we sure hope to see you around here soon. And thank you for taking your time to share your story and, of course, continue to well, inspire countless you. more of us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.